Yeah, but I just gave a thumbs up in my bedroom. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In front of the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's Jeff and he's deep. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin stroking! Yeah, well, so this is oh. super kiss away oh, for. And, uh, or as yeah. we call it, whip man in the whip, and that's actually all you do. You like, you whip everything that's coming your way. Make sure you whip it oh, good. Yeah. If in doubt, crouch and whip. Yeah. Ah, oh, crouching. And if you don't whip it, you take the boost. That's uh, what we do a lot because, as you can see, Simon is really, really slow. He's not used to caffeine overdose. That's because so. he's carrying that big badonka donk around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speed struts. He just kind of walk like he's got a shit in his pants. Yeah, actually. <laughs> so yeah, what we should... just pick up is the cross and that's really OP in this game. So uh, we want to keep that sub weapon for the rest of the run. How do the uh, the shot multipliers work? I can't remember. Uh, actually, the same as in CV3. So you have to hit oh. 10 things, could be candles, could be enemies, but you have to have um, at least a count of 8 hearts if you hit things. Okay. Uh, I'm not going for the zip. Nah, zip was actually in stage 4, but I didn't go for the wall clip, that's really... That's the one. So, yeah, that's a really high chance if you miss it that then you die yeah. and then you don't have to cross for quite a amount of time. Yeah, you don't get it until like right before the boss, right? Uh, you get one in stage three, I think. Like, there's no cross, no other cross in stage one. I remember I was playing this game casually, I got fucked instead of that. <laughs> I, I blind raced it like four years ago, five years ago, and yeah, I was on Dracula for an hour and fifty. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Shit, but I might even have been longer than that. <laughs> but I would probably say CV3 track is the worst of them all. Wow, tons of, tons of hearts left. So yeah, that was the first boss road in. It's not a big deal. Like, pretty much all the bosses are like this if you have to cross. Like, it's really, really OP. And stage 2 has a pretty nice music, but it's actually... The, the most boring stage to practice at least. Yeah, one thing is you try to empty out all your hearts because it counts that down at the yeah. end. I'm pretty sure. So, like, you try to use all whatever sub weapon to get that down to zero. The entire soundtrack of this game is fucking phenomenal. Honestly, yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, also the background is really nice in this level, but I mean there is not much that can be dangerous except the frogs coming up. Like they can they can jump very high or very far, so you have to be careful there, but other than the frogs there is not really a lot to take care of. Oh you're forgetting about the fucking flea men coming up. Oh yeah. Not yet. <laughs> they're dicks. They're dicks in every game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're not good dicks either, they're bad dicks. Ah! <laughs> what? Yeah, they're actually coming up in stage 5 of this game. And, uh, like, stage 5 is not really long, it's the shortest stage in the whole game, but the Fleeman can make it really, really bad. Because it's entirely RNG. Short and full of bad dicks, it's all like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Short bad dicks are the worst type of dicks. Ah! That's a little ruffian. So yeah, coming up as Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, skip the dagger, hi. 
Look at them boobies though. <laughs> Like, as a kid, I was really scared by the sprite. I wasn't sure if, like, is that a guy or is it a... What is this? Uh, so yeah, in this stage you can see that the water is flowing in two directions. If it's going to the right, then you want to go with the water. If it's going to the left, then you want to make uh, sure you jump a lot, so... Because the water Didn't slows it? down. I I'm going to tweet you a picture of Medusa to you. You'll love it. <laughs> Well, I, you probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning over Fiona on right now. He's, he's so on, he's asleep essentially. He has like a, he has a button that he can push and just like go to sleep and he has a button to like turn back on, it's like a machine, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Like, alright, uh, let's start this next run, and then I'm gonna uh, turn on the snooze mode, and then... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I bought him pizza a few weeks ago. <laughs> and that, he was part robot. Fuck. That's, that's only because I discovered that there's more crust options in America for Domino's. And it was also midnight. And that was the only place that was selling pizza. And I was hungry. Yeah, well, that was actually the best pattern I can get from these madmen. And uh, oh, if, yeah. if you can't jump over them, you want to make sure that you whip them. So if they break, they oh, they yeah. only deal three damage. And if you don't do Just that, like... they do fear da four damage. Just like in real life, got you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I forgot how good this was. <laughs> it is it is set. <laughs> yeah, that was not so optimal ring glitch. Um pretty much what you do there is normally the ring is um so you swing from one direction to the other, like from the right side to the left side. And if you do that correctly, you can get Simon on top of the ring, which is the ring glitch. Does it? it over What's one of the, like, isn't there like a, a sort of a downside to the ring glitch as well? Like, doesn't like those little fuzzy balls become sort oh. of... Uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's because I did the damage boost of the bone dragon then uh, for a short amount of time the game doesn't know if you're like part of the background or not so um, things can't hit you and if you don't oh, take right, okay. the damage boost then um, you don't have the iframes. So, gotcha. Yeah, if you don't have enough health then you have to go for the more risky ring glitch uh, without the damage boost before. And uh, this is the shittiest boss in the game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's casually that's not a not, not a nice boss. What's the name of the one that just claps at you? He starts off really big, and then he starts. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, that's in the next stage. He does my fucking head in. I don't really, know why. Pretty much any Castlevania is virtually impossible casually. Oh, Dracula X is the easiest, I can guarantee. Yeah, I, I, I just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think if, like, meat drops in every wall, it's, it's like, create, like, and then you just go back and they respawn or something like that, and just, like, uh, yeah, there's there's something there, like... There's, there's only one where it does that. Uh -oh. I believe, um, the original, um, Rondo... Rondo is actually really hard from what I heard, but I'm not super positive on that. It, it is hard, but it's... Achievable. Yeah, I actually finished uh, CV2 two weeks ago, so that was not too hard, but it's more like exploration and stuff, and bosses yeah. are not like real bosses, more like mini bosses, kind of. It's just it's like the grind for XP is the only thing that annoys me about CV2. Yeah. Let's make, let's make everything an action RPG. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that was... is actually the only one that I've uh, ever owned on the NES, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I've never even seen CV1 before in my life. 
Wow, no, you're missing out. <laughs> I've got a PAL copy of CV4 here. Yeah. JD made me play it once. JD's a dick. <laughs> because he was laughing the entire time. I love JD, I just stayed with him for three weeks. But <laughs> I mean, I've seen so many runs of this, I figured it would be not that difficult, but this game is so hard as shit. Yeah, I hope not. I think it was uh, Bob, I think it was Josh, not Josh RTA, like Funk Doc Josh said it best, like it's probably the easiest one to beat casually but the hardest one to speedrun. Yeah, the, so the mini boss we just had is Puexel. It's also not really hard if you have to cross us, but if you don't have to cross us, it uh, can be quite annoying. The best room in the game. Oh yeah. Yeah, we call that a coffee room, because that's always when I have my coffee. But yeah, if you read uh, Pure Wexel the other way around, then it slicks you up, and that's because he has this really long tongue. Oh yeah. Slicking you up. <laughs> <laughs> RPG must be busy jerking it right now, because he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did a low percent run of this and I completed it, so uh, I feel pretty, pretty good about that. Mm -hmm. So low percent, like you can't have sub weapons and you have to use like the level one whip. To, like, yeah. Work on it. That sounds fucking horrible. <laughs> yep. Well, when you get to, you know, uh, death and uh, all that stuff, uh, you'll find yourself uh, <laughs> there for quite a while. Yeah, I mean, if it's too easy with the crosses, then you can definitely go for low percent. That's quite a challenge. I always struggle with Gaibon. I don't know why. Not so much slog, but like, if I don't, if I get to, like, Gaibon with the cross, he's free, but... Nah, uh, Slugra is pretty much my, my weak point still. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's another one of those ones that is you know, sort of easy-ish to beat casually, really hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> Fast. Yeah, and I remember when I was younger and I did that room, that was really... Uh, like, I didn't know where to go. You can just go all the way right, which is uh, the fastest way. But I thought I w need to go up because everything's going up, so I I did that and it took me forever to, <laughs> to complete this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Castlevania is one of those weird ass, like, kind of platformy games that just goes in every single direction. I guess at least when you think when I think of platformers, I think of it like Mario or just left to right. Yeah, or yeah. Like... Oh hell yeah, that's so oh. good. <laughs> that's some good that mashing you got yourself there. <laughs> I'm licking it up, mashing those dicks. Yeah, so I thought, I think that's the one you meant, who's getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's the one, he pisses me off. Pisses <laughs> me off for no end. Just yes. wants to come along and just clap. So it's now it's uh, stage 5, and that's with the Harpies and the Flea Man. And yeah, the way they appear is totally RNG, so you can have a really wonderful stage with no Harpies at all, or you have a real Harpy party. Just down my last night, wait. <laughs> no, wait, that's the opposite of that.
I'm just trying to think like how big Simon's right arm must actually be. I mean, he's jerking that whip all the time. Throwing those crosses. Yeah, also swinging the, about. Also the legs. Like, that that doesn't look normal. Fucking place. Yeah, he had yeah. a pretty meaty jump too in spare <laughs> time. <laughs> I mean, you can't say he skips legs, though. Oops. <laughs> Pause for no reason, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just wonder if he's always said hurt monster. Look, even his sprite, like, so watch when he's like strutting along. Look at his right arm. Huge. <laughs> then look at the left <laughs> arm in the background. It's tiny. He's like that guy from Scary Movie with the strong hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the, like, stripped up hand, like, on what, like... Yeah. And then he, like, um, serves some food with it or something, like, he, like, dips his hand in the... Yeah, <laughs> now oh, we... Yeah. Um, like now the mashed we... potatoes or whatever, <laughs> just like, here you go. Now we know what Simon did after he killed Dracula. <laughs> he, be he became a waiter. So yeah, oh, the no. chandelier section uh, is not really tricky, I'm taking it really safe uh, with a 3 cycle, but you can do that in 1 cycle, but you have to be really precise. And if you die, that's probably one of the worst uh, spots to die in a game, because you lose like about 1 minute 20 seconds. Because not only you, you have to do the, the first screen again, you also have to go for a secret room and get your cross back, build up your triple again. So yeah, it's so one of the spots in a game where you don't want to die. Hey, you're just coming what happens if you don't get to lose much time the first the one cycle. You're coming up on a section that used to give me a load of trouble as a kid. Yeah, Which stage is... stage six was also one of the worst stages for me as a kid. Six and eight. Yeah. It's mainly like. The bit you're at now, I, the those beams of like, light, yeah. they, just, they just like circle around you and they just yeah. keep hitting you and... They follow you like forever, if you don't kill them. Yeah, and killing them is uh, <laughs> <laughs> so difficult casually. Because you try to avoid him and it's like, no, oh, well... <laughs> it's, like, it's like that crumble bridge up here as well, that... Oh, boy. I used to end up like jumping too far and straight down onto the spikes. Oh yeah, landing on the spikes. <laughs> yeah, spikes are always nice. And this D boost through like the table and sh like, I, I, I <laughs> was not able to do that like with confidence at any point. And then you've got like the banshees ah. that uh, circle around here. Yeah, so right there I was trying to go for the coffin boost. But I, I didn't make it. I just started learning that and still a high chance that I missed that. Because you don't have to kill all the coffins, you can just jump through and take damage. Yeah, is, 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 is that one, uh, it's is more dependent on where you get hit by the coffin like I think it's it's like his shoulder or something is it like if the coffin hits your shoulder yeah yeah it's gonna like boost you forward but it's still stupid so yeah that boss goes down really quickly but if you play it casual uh, yeah if you don't have to cross us then this could take a while <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> that was uh that was Overfiend revving up his internet. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get some uh dairy from uh into my back. <laughs> he was just going so fast he had to whip out his NASCAR. <laughs> Race 
No, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just showing up. <laughs> yeah, so this stage, a lot of books. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, because... Uh, vampires books? Like, is it cooking for vampires, or what? what is this? Well, it's, it is vampires, let's be honest, so it's probably sexually related. It's like... <laughs> It's like how to, read too. how to get the damsel, uh, how to kidnap the damsel, <laughs> and basic animal husbandry, I think. Because oh, he's got a lot of bats. Yeah, I've seen Joe do this section, and he does some crazy jumps every time, and I'm like, holy shit, you not die. <laughs> It just, I, I still can't get over Joe plays on an LCD. That's... Yeah, that's insane. Uh, one thing I just skipped in the room before is the, the book jump. Because that's really... I, I miss it from time to time. If you die there, that's pretty big time loss. And that's what just for is. like 3.5 seconds is what it saves. I mean, it is, it is a marathon, so you do want to take it a bit safe. Let's... Whoa! Giant red cock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As Bortoin from Super Metroid, he's finally crossed over. Yeah. Damn it, old boom. What? I killed Botch Boom. I ain't no friend of Botch Boom either. <laughs> Yeah! Mashing that dude! So coming up is uh, stage 8, or how we call it, stage 8, because uh, a lot of bullshit can happen on the stage. Uh, also, spikes are instant death, and the stage has tons of spikes. Oh, if we're getting about Vegas Bridge. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember watching like Furious Paul just die that those times and like, run great, like really good runs. Yeah, it's a there's nothing you can do with that RNG. Oh yeah, the fucking bridge of death. I know what you guys are talking about now. <laughs> Is it it's like RNG, right? Yeah, the patterns are RNG, but um, it's a bit more safe if you don't get the debuffs right before the bridge, so you can calculate a bit better and see how the pattern is, instead of boosting right onto the bridge and then sometimes there's not much you can do. Oh uh, yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of instant deaths in this. <laughs> pretty uh, pretty deadly. A lot of ships that just want to kill you. Yeah, I think whoever did Drag Castle, he really likes spikes for some reason. Uh, also, this stage is has the biggest difference in US and Japanese version. Like gameplay-wise, there are no differences, but uh, you can see the water down there is blood, and in US version, that's like exit, like screen poisoned water. I think the spikes are probably uh, because uh, Dracula was based off of Vlad the Impaler or whatever, loosely. Oh shit. Yeah, might have something to do with it. Oh. That damage boost is. Because uh... <laughs> it'll kill you one hit if you don't. Ooh. If you're on it, then. Oh, he's. He's... I see the damage boost. Ah. Here we go. More irritating than fucking eyeballs and. Me, I, I had to crouch to this part right here. Those spikes would kill me every time if I wasn't ducking. So, yeah, that's the more savior way to take uh, the Vegas Bridge. If you boost and you get boosted right onto the bridge, then it's harder to see how the pattern is and how to react to it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Frankenstein's monster. Throwing drinks. <laughs> Shit now, <nah>, booze. <laughs> So one thing I never understood about the stage is, like Simon gets all the way through and there's all that money and he doesn't, he doesn't take any of that. I mean, he, he could be a billionaire after beating Drake. It's because he's yeah, pure of heart or some shit. Oh, ah. well, then why does he want all those fucking money bags for? <laughs> he's just gonna weigh him down, he walks slow enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Mm. What the is it? Ouch. Uh, Saturday evening. Oh, okay. Thank you. I thought it was Sunday. That uh, which confused me because I was at work today. And I don't work Sundays. There's a really dumb thing you can do in this stage as well. That's like jumping on top of a chest like 50 times just to get. Oh, yeah. Back it. <laughs> yeah, actually, take it safe and take uh, the double meat. Double meat? Oh, yeah. Two <laughs> meats. Also, that's one of my favorite tracks on the stage. I mean, most people would say it's stage A because that's Bloody Tears. That's like the most common, most known song. Well, I, I still like Vampire. Uh, that's, it's, a, it's a classic. A timeless classic, one for the ages. Yeah, that's, that's also one of my favorites. I mean, I'm a bit sad because um, in this game Vampire Killer is uh, only for the first half yeah. of stage B. Ah. Fucking skeleton. God damn it. What was being? Oh, ouch. That was all intended, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, my, my whip was a bit too long, so. Like, normally. Oh, I've never heard that. <laughs> So yeah, luckily we have the secret room right here so we can get the uh, cross bag. So I don't know how safe I'd feel just getting sucked into a hole like that. <laughs> I mean, that's how Joe is uh, feeling right now, I suppose. Uh, sucked into a vortex into uh, an infinite time loop in outer space. Uh. He's in outer space. Hi, uh, Joe's. Joe's been, uh, yeah, he's been taken, uh, taken by the vortex, by the, uh, in, in the space and time continuum. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dropping off some Dairy Queen for the homies. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to stop by the movie. Hit up Joe. <laughs> Well, he, he's going to the dock where uh, the submarine's gonna be arriving soon. Joe and all of his new. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Aquaman. He's gonna come and be like, "Yeah, man, I've been under there for four months, and I got a, uh, I got PB <laughs> in all my, all my speed runs. Uh, got a CB4 uh, record." Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is bad with thirty two. Low percent with this bat is uh, no fun, especially when you die and you have to come back. And... Bling bat is a dick. Look at him. Like he's all he's all <laughs> hard. He's all hard and golden when he's like massive, and then he splits down into three and really just wants to come and mess your day up. Just like every time you go to the bank and you're arguing <laughs> with the bank manager that you're stealing your money. 
And he turns into a massive bat and starts throwing coins at you. So, so yeah, now we Does that only happen in England? So yeah, this is Clock Tower. And our bloody tears. Oh, yeah. Yo! That's sick. I'm rolling, dude. Oh, I've got to go to Germany next month. Yes. Ah, cool. There's a Castlevania orchestra taking place, apparently. What, really? Yeah. That's okay. Like the, I think it's the same one they did in Sweden, like, four years ago. Wow, I completely missed that. I have to, I have to Google that later. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to Google it as well because I'm pretty sure the person that just messaged me is uh, stuck in an infinite time loop. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Joe Demilio. I think this is uh, gonna go jerk his dick off later. Castle later, Castle. I'm doing it now. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Joking deep. I mean, we briefly had Zelda in here, and he said one thing. He came in here, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, death means, death and means. He might be stuck in an empty time loop. No, wow. he's actually just grinding out Tasmania because he doesn't want to be exposed by Canis. You know? <laughs> oh, big deal. <laughs> well, you can't be Canis in Tasmania. <laughs> Well, apparently he's only has the record, so I mean he's oh, trying to, you know, he's, he's like the heavyweight champion. champion. Yeah, have you have you checked? Right, he's got he's, he's got the belt, he's got the gold belt right now, and Canis is like, you know what, Zelna? No. <laughs> Canis is a professional when it comes to crunk racing. Yeah, I don't think oh Zelma's gonna be crunk though. So is that really fair? He's gonna be completely. Uh, he's gonna be 100 percent sober. He's gonna have a few milkshakes in him, and he's gonna be ready to go. <laughs> well, that's why he's gonna lose. You can't ah. play the game without a beer. <laughs> if you didn't have a beer, you'd know not to play the game. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so now play, play a game. Ah, so yeah, right there with the boss, we got uh, the worst no, penalty we could get. No, mommy, what's going on? Yeah, <laughs> kisses, kisses. Uh, yeah. two cycle? Yeah, cause yeah. mommy is an asshole. Like he, he knows. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you, you can only get uh, one cycle on the very left or very right um, spawn. But that, that was double middle spawn, so actually the worst you can get. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I mean, at least you're far past the game that I would take me about three hours to get past. So, so you had a uh, so other shakes ready? Well, uh, I've got three milkshakes ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you put your gogurts in your milkshakes? No, no, I do not mix and match, okay? <laughs> I like to enjoy my, uh, you know, my uh, daily uh, or uh, dairy uh, products uh, one by one. Okay. Do you get your um, your milkshakes on a truck too? Yes, but the goddamn truck, okay, was in traffic last night and it fell over, and all the gogurt was all over the highway. And I'm very upset about this. I called the president and he said, you know what, I'm sorry. It's going to be uh, a little bit late on your delivery. And I said, you know what, this is not okay, okay? I, <laughs> I'm going to be running EVO Switch for you tonight and I need that go now, okay? That's, that's, that's accurate. accurate. That's, that's accurate to the T. And then I said, gosh damn that black attack and cutting my Zelda 1 TV. Ah. <laughs> 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 He's now turning to Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> minus, minus the uh, the crack and the sitting in the cinema jerking off. What? Minus the crack? Maybe that's, that's what the milk is. Maybe that's what the milkshake is. 
We're, co we're coming up on the boss rush, and also this part of the game with all the blocks like going up and you have to jump on, they're moving diagonally yeah. upwards. They will Jeez, push you right into a spike. Right, they'll move you right into your death if you don't jump off of them immediately, and you can fall to your death if you don't jump on them. Yeah, that's... Like, that stage in particular took me like forever as a kid. Yeah, I, I, I got frustrated and gave up because I'm an idiot. Dingus by name, dingus by nature. And then Slog, if you, if you oh, don't have the... Oh, wow. That was... If you don't have the cross for Slog, right, it's, it's a mess. It's yeah. Ah, oh, it's not a good fight so far. Because he's a jerk. Hard. Yeah, he does. Stabbing you in the... God. Yeah, so what he just did in the first phase is a very rare thing. And uh, normally you see him only dashing in the second phase, but it can happen that he does early dashes in the first phase. And there's nothing you can do to prevent that. But it's very rare that he does that. Hasn't he got really strange invincibility frames as well? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I hear him actually. So yeah, can I have a staff? Let's see if we can get a good death item. Ah. He's got this attack where he rolls you in with his scythe, uh, kind of like Joe nah. got rolled into a vortex. But no, <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's not quite. It's exactly how it happened. Well, yeah. Well, whilst, whilst, he, whilst he was playing this, it's whilst he was playing this as well. Yeah. Yeah, th that's just sucking him into a, to a circular, uh, you know... Oh yeah, sucking him! <laughs> so yeah, that was actually more of a slow death. You can actually kill him when he's, um, like, on the top right corner. If so before he starts sucking you into that vortex. Yeah. yeah. Before he comes Suck. down. Oh. <laughs> and here's everybody's favorite, uh, final boss, uh, Dracula. Is he your favorite? Well, especially when I was playing casually and I, I beat him and then I'm like, yes! And then he turns into this beam and oh, yeah. makes your ass. So. Fucking <laughs> ass rape. Like you finally beat Dracula and you feel accomplished just to find out that was the easy part. <laughs> uh, Tinny's just kind of taking damage and give enough box. The fire things, they give you meat sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's the one that looks like a fucking mosquito that just starts flying all around the place. That's, that's the one that gives you, gives you a little, yeah. apparently it's a pork chop, but I don't know how that looks like a pork chop. <laughs> oh, I'm not it's dead not like it was cooked or anything. It's human <laughs> Oh yeah. Dracula's there, bitch. <laughs> I wonder why there was never a video game with the Lost Boys. That would have been interesting. Where you've just got to like say memorable quotes from the movie every now and then. Uh, so yeah, time is coming when I touch the the orb, the orb. Oh yeah, touching yeah. it. <laughs> touching that orb. Oh yeah. Ho hopefully, uh, we're finished now. Queen. Oh, GG. Thanks. <laughs> I always get confused that that one bat just always flies to the floor and turns to stone where the other ones just fucking burst into flames. Ah! So yeah, except stage 9, that was an okay run. I took a few things safe, but that death in stage 9 is... Uh, not really common, so I was just a bit sloppy with my whip. Because if you have a short whip, then you can make the swing without getting hit. It's still a 38 in a marathon, I guess. Let's see, you crushed it. I mean, playing safe, it was mm. understandable. It's not like, because there's no deaths, so. You know, it was. It's pretty well executed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, rewarding enough. For uh, butt chug, I would say. 
No, you'd be my guest. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, just remember I tweeted you that cursed image as well. <laughs> yeah, so thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for the run. Yeah, and thanks for the cool commentary. Well, I wouldn't really call it that. Yeah, thanks for commentary, RPG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Ulrafine. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for coming back with Dairy Queen, man. This is the spot. <laughs> yeah, up next we have a very special treat. We have uh, Mr. Zara the Mant, and he's going to roll insane in the deep. Just throwing that out there. <laughs>